Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're going to be using the Nightshade Mage Skin within Realm Royale Reforged. Now see, this, we've been doing quite a lot of progression with these skins now and I'm slowly making my way towards level 100 on this class. I'm currently 97 at the time recording this video. And the Cetas, out of all the mage skins, this is one of my favorite ones in the whole entire class. I like the outfit, I love the design. It's got this proper like dark sort of themed vibe to it. And honestly, it's pretty awesome. You know, I mean, I've had this in my collection for quite some time now. And I think I've used it quite a lot on a few like older videos, like when it comes to Realm Royale. I think I've used it quite a lot on the older videos. But other than that, I just hope that if you do enjoy today's video, Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new if you want to see even more Realm Royale Reforged videos. I see there's got plenty more still to come to the channel if you want to see more of them. And once I've done all the mage skins, I'll be doing the assassins, the warriors, the hunters, the engineers. So, there's going to be plenty more videos still to come, trust me. Plenty. But we just need to wait now, get ourselves into a game, and try and go for that beautiful Crown Royale. That's what I want to try and do today. Hopefully, no glitch lobbies, no plays glitching out through like through the floors or anything like that so obviously if you saw my last uh video on the kanuchi 3 skin and um, the we had the situation where the character's like glitching and for some reason he killed me but i couldn't do nothing to him it was i don't know if he was hacking or if it was a glitch or something but i'll let you guys make the decision what you think it was just go ahead and check out that video okay But yeah, I'm ready for this one, boys. I'm ready. Now, obviously, as well, I just want to say thank you for all the continued support here on both of the channels. If it is that you do prefer to watch one channel over the other, or if it is that you only watch this channel, in case you aren't aware, um, I do have a second channel, which is called More Aaron Cooper. So if you want to see even more content from me that isn't the sort of stuff that you see on this channel, click the link in the description after today's video. And go ahead and check out my second channel, More Aaron Cooper. Trust me, I've got a lot of great stuff over on the second channel. And obviously, if you do watch both channels, then you're an absolute legend. And I really do appreciate all your support, okay? <clears throat> it's crazy, man. Crazy. I got the moves. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Right. Uh... The fog sets in. I think they're going for Lumberfall. That's where they put... Yeah, they put Lumberfall. So, looks like we're going to be heading towards that direction. To be fair, it's a good little location to drop into, to be honest. I would have preferred crossing, but Lumberfall's good. Be careful. Just want to proper space ourselves out a little bit in the area though, because you don't want to be all jumpy together. I'd rather like space myself out just a little bit. Yeah, right. We make sure we're all geared up as soon as possible. Make sure we get ourselves weapons. Plenty of health and armor. That's what we need. Straight off the bat, like, you know what I mean? We need we need some good stuff. Because the thing is, if you get a squad that's rushing us and we've only got a pistol, it's not gonna go down very well. Magic flows strong in this maximum firepower. Using an armor potion. Right. Let's have a quick check over here just to see if there's any enemies over here. Because normally, enemies tend to drop into these sorts of areas along before. Like, you'll have some people on one side and other people on the other. Enemy, 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 enemy. Nice. Using an armor potion. Big plays, big plays. Me. 
using an armor potion. Early game, I feel like this will be a good little combination. To be fair, I would prefer having like a healing station or something, but maybe just to be a little bit more confident when it comes to engagements with enemies, because it's always good to have like a heal ability with you, but I've got like I've got more with the um offensive type of battle strategy this time around. Like, I've gone with more attack, attack, attack sort of thing. You know what I mean? Because I've got my two weapons. I can fire both of my abilities at enemies to, deal, like, inflict even more damage to them and stuff. So, it's a bit, it changed up the playstyle a little bit, but I would prefer like, health ability because it'll just be a lot more better, personally. Maximum fire. Yeah, let me know what you guys are all been up to today. Hopefully having a fantastic day and that you're all safe and well. As for myself, I see as I've been work today, I've not long got home. Um, just literally, at the time of recording this video, I've just literally got through the door, I've sorted the cats out, and I'm just like, yo, tonight, it's time to make some videos. You know what I mean? It's literally is time just to crack on with some videos and get, get some content out there for you all. Literally, that's what it literally is all about. But well, other than that, I haven't really had a stressful day or nothing at work. It's just been like kind of a, just a, you know, normal day. It's quite quiet today, to be fair. I love it when it's quiet at work. When you stay, when you stay busy or eptic, then it it's just like, yeah, it's just one of them. But when it's like a quiet day, I prefer them sort of days. Because you just get on with your shift, go home, and that can just relax. Or obviously, in this case, make videos. So, it's one of them, boys. But let me know what you guys are all been up to. I did hear an enemy then, but to be honest, I can't be bothered turning around. There'll probably be more enemies towards Jay Gardens area. Just keeping an eye on in case anyone's around here, because normally. In trios or squads, there's normally a lot of people in these sort of areas. So, let's have a good look around, see what we can see. Very nice. This relic, anointed by the elements, shall be my instrument. Oh, enemy, enemy, enemy. That's what I mean, how good these ability things are. As long as you're accurate with them, you can inflict a lot of damage, boys. Easy shards, boys. Easy shards. Oh, enemy. I can hear an enemy. Definitely one nearby. Collect as many shards as possible. the healing ability there. I think it'll be alright for now. Normally I would have picked it up, but I'm like, nah, I think I'm alright. Just for now anyway. I probably will change my mind later in game. I normally do when it comes to realm. I always like, tend to like go with the strategy I think will work and then I think eh, I'll go with this one instead. It's just the way I am. It now I'm just gonna have constant healing stations until I pick one up. It's gonna keep happening. Do, do, do. This relic, anointed by the elements, shall be my instrument. Nice. A magical mount. Got a nice little setup there. 
We've got a question for each and every single one of you out there. What's your favourite mage skin? And like, why do you like to use that particular skin? Is it because it's the way it looks? Is it because of like... Obviously, I don't know. Maybe it came with a cool bundle. Let me know what your favourite skin is for the mage. Hmm... So we're getting back over to Lumberfall. Just for now, anyway. So yeah, shout out to my team members who are joining me in this one. Obviously, because I'm playing some random trios. I've got Besnik5833. And I've got Fizzy. Put me and Fizzy on two kills. Besnik is on the one kill. So we got this, boys. We got this. I need some enemies, though. So, yeah, what do you think of the mount skin I'm rolling with as well for the nightshade skin? I like this sort of mount skin. I think I've got this uh, mount skin off Amazon Twitch Prime. Because, obviously, every now and then they will drop, like, really cool rewards and stuff that you can get for Realm Royale. But, obviously, you can get loads of different rewards for various different games. So, it's always good to get yourself signed up with it. Get yourself on get yourself on board with Amazon Twitch Prime because there may be some of your favourite games out there. I've got loads of cool exclusive rewards for. So you know, I mean, I sometimes get stuff off there for Realm. I get things off there for Call of Duty every now and then. Destiny. There's loads of cool stuff. You know, what I mean, Rogue Company skins and stuff. Even for mobile games and stuff as well, like COD Mobile and stuff and. Pokemon Go. There's always there's loads of like various great stuff, so it's always good to just keep checking every now and then. Sometimes you get free games as well, so it's always worth it. So I do highly recommend it if you've never used it before. Right, I'm going to have to trade one of these out. Just because it's a legendary. I did tell you guys I probably will change my mind about the two battle like, aggressive abilities. Changing one out for the healing station or something. It's just, it just makes me feel more confident when I go into engagements, knowing that I've got, like, an opportunity to heal up pretty quickly and then get back straight into the action and stuff. You know what I mean? I try to look at everything from different perspectives of, like, do I just go all in on, on, on like, attack sort of phase? Or do I go with the defensive abilities as well to support me? Or do I go pure defense? You know what I mean? It just depends, really, on, like, how the game's flowing for me. That's how I tend to find, anyway. Gonna have him, gonna have him. Dropped him, boys. Alright. Ooh. Legendary helmet. Not gonna complain about that. Right, there's 23 players left on the map right now. I think we're doing all right so far. We're leading it for our team at the moment. My team members are contributing. They've both got three kills each. I've got four. So at the moment, we're doing pretty well. We've got a total of 10 eliminations for the team. So I want to keep this momentum going now. I want to try and get even more kills. Especially when we've still got plenty of players left on the map as well. Oh, enemy, enemy, enemy. Seen him. Nice. Preparing armor. Let's make you sure that we're all healed up. So yeah, what do you think of the nightshade skin for the mage class? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What do you think of this skin? And let me know. Have you got the skin in your collection? If you haven't, I hope that you get it some po at some point in the near future. Uh, obviously, keep checking your daily store, like the daily rotation with the store, because sometimes they'll have really cool skins on there, sometimes they don't. Um, obviously, for me, it's... Well, I don't really check the store as much unless I'm getting like, my daily free crowns, because I've pretty much got everything off the store. But for some of you guys who may not have all the skins 
obviously just keep checking it every single day because obviously there could be new skins on there whether it's chicken skins emotes or sprays or anything just keep your eyes on there because obviously there could be something new on there waiting for you maybe even this skin who knows so just keep checking it okay right so i'm gonna go with the legendary breastplate there definitely that's a definite must must Right, just gotta keep my eyes open, just in case any more enemies lurking around. My team's got this though. I've got a pretty good team. Well, the circle's gonna be pushing in this direction, so as soon as we're gonna make sure that we're getting geared up and ready for a fight, because I've got a feeling there's gonna be enemies pushing on this position soon. And we wanna make sure we're ready for it. But I'm just going to do a little bit of light exploring a little bit just to see if we can catch any enemies off guard, any enemies that might be camping near a building or something. Enemy, enemy, enemy. Nice. Easy, boys. Taken down. That's what we're talking about. Repairing armor. Make sure we're all armored up. Oh man, he stole my armor. I was just going to take that then, but fair play. I don't know if we're going to have any more people coming from the Northport way. We're going to fly down here just in case there is like one or two running away from the fog. Because if so, we can just try and chicken them. And when, when the fog's coming in, the fog will end up killing them anyway. That's one little strategy as well. Because if it says that an enemy is near the fog and it is coming in, just chicken them. Because the seat says if it says that they're still been damaged by the fog you will be still get the kill because you were the last contributing player that's caused impact damage to that player you know what i mean so always take that into consideration as an option if it is that you know you may not get enough time to finish somebody off yo enemy 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 so the hills are the huntress skin as well nice Heading up here just in case there's an enemy upstairs. No, he's definitely not upstairs. I don't know where he's gone. Must be one of them little buildings there. I'm gonna check if there's any more enemies lurking around because there's nine players left in total, so there's another six players somewhere. Just want to keep my eyes peeled just in case there's two squads because you don't know, do you? You know what I mean? It's one of them. It could be nine random players. From in like from different squads, or it could be a, a one team and then random players. It could be two teams. You, you don't know, do you? So you have to just keep your guard up just in case. Because the last thing I want is getting swarmed by a squad whilst I'm on my own, whilst my other team members are just doing whatever they choose to do. So with the circle getting smaller, we need to make sure we're ready. See anyone? Oh, hang on. Enemy, enemy, enemy. Right, Liam Chicken. They're gonna die in the fog anyway. Yo, bro. Why are you shooting at me? 
Yeah, boy, you can't damage me because I'm on your team, bro. You can't damage me, so I don't even know why you're trying. It's just pointless. There's one player left. Come on. Same. Where is he? Oh, that guy's got the key. Gatekeeper. Anyways. Well, that's a nice little easy crown royale to add to the collection there. We've got eight eliminations. Well, sorry. I had eight eliminations and my team did 16 eliminations in total. Seaters, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you need. would really appreciate it. Got plenty more content still to come, so make sure you keep your eyes and ears locked onto the channel every single day for a brand new video. And with that being said, I'll catch you all again next time.